All right, let's go. Hi, so in today's video, I am doing a, another wig review for you guys. This one is from Sam's Beauty. This wig is kind of like a, a part two to a review that I've done in the past. So I've done a review on a big, beautiful hair wig by Outre last year. I did the 4A, I believe. But this one is the 4C. I think the 4A was 4A kinky or something like that. Uh, I'll link it down below um, and also insert some little clips or pictures. Or but this one is the 4C coily. So that wig right there is like all-time favorite. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite wigs to wear every day, all year round. I've had that wig for over a year. I still have it. Uh, so yeah, it's been like over a year and okay when I said last year I meant 2016 new year I'm still you know still getting there, but so this is the wig right here So let me go ahead and tell y'all um, what I got real quick So I got the big beautiful hair 4c coily and I got the color dr30. I don't know what it is <laughs> With me trying to try these like brown curly wigs this one I actually like so like this one, I mean I like the I like the other one that I just did a review on, but I like this one a lot better. Mainly because of like the curl pattern and just how it looks. It just is really pretty to me. And I feel like I did my makeup to go well with this one. It says it is heat resistant. It is safe up to 100 or <laughs> 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The color on the model is a 1B. See, it says it's a natural texture, natural style. Yes, it is, of course. Ear to ear finish for a natural looking hairline. Just let it out. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Like I uh, had said in a previous review, I have a widow's peak. So I actually feel like that makes it look a little, makes it look a little bit more natural. Just because my, my own hairline peeks through a little bit. But I mean, the way that I wear the wig, I don't even show my hairline anyway. So that doesn't really matter. Full volume, it is. The volume on it is lovely. It's nice and big. Um, it is soft and lightweight. Yeah, for the most part it is. Like, and just like the last one that I had, I could wear it in the summer. I could wear it in the winter. Like it, it's a very, very nice density that the wig has. It's available in natural hair textures. They are named after natural hair textures. They have 4A, 4B, and 4C. I've had 4A and 4C, which is this one right here. I'm trying to think about what the 4B one looks like. I think it's like even bigger because the 4A, which is the one that I had last year, is bigger than this one, uh, which if I put it next to it, you can definitely tell that it's like bigger. And I'll also like insert pictures comparing the two. And then this one's just like a little bit more, it's like it's smaller. If you don't like the big, big afro, but you still want the big afro, but you don't want to, you know. Uh, I feel like this one's a good one. You know, obviously this one's, you know, it's got color to it. And let's talk, like, you know what, let's, let's talk about this color. I really like this color like I had so my last like brown hair curly hair review that I had just did I didn't like the brown with the type of curl pattern that that was but this one I actually really like it on this curl pattern and I like that it's like dark at the roots as if it was bleached because it reminds me of my own hair my own hair is bleached it's not like this color it's more of like a um, blonde than a uh, like brown with like a red undertone but i really like this color like it's really nice it's like it's like a light brown auburn type of color but with the red undertone i really like that it's just like really nice i feel like it complements my skin well uh it'll be nice to go into spring with um i'm still not sure how i feel about brown hair in the winter <laughs> i just wanted to try it because i felt like i'm always doing um dark colors for curly hair Minus that one red curly wig that I had. Yeah, I really wanted to try something different. And you know what? I really like it. I do low-key wish that it was blonde. I ain't gonna lie, because it would really uh, be very similar to my natural hair then. But, I mean, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty natural. People could think that it's my real hair, so you know what I'm saying? So, um, let's get into the colors that the wig comes in. It comes in a 1, 1B, 2, 4, S, 1B slash 30. S1B slash 33, S1B slash BU, I don't know what that is, S4 um, slash 30, DR2730, DR30, which is the ones I have, and DR425. So, comes in some pretty natural colors, some uh, blacks, off blacks, browns, maybe a blonde, the DR2730. Maybe I should try that one. Um, I still like this one though, like this one is like really cute to me. I think it 
looks really nice. And they have some maintenance instructions on the back. It says how to refresh. They say you can spray a mixture of conditioner or water on the hair, finger comb it from the tips to the roots to gently detangle the curls to make it last longer. I do agree with this. I did this with the previous wig that I had and the wig has lasted me over a year. So <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying that because this wig is, is, I mean this, uh, I guess collection of wigs I feel like are really really good wigs to gently scratch the hair to help define the curls um I mean I really do that I just kind of pick through the hair step three lay the wig down on a dry towel allow it to dry completely avoid twisting or rubbing the hair I did nothing um too crazy to this hair I let the hair be as it is the most I did to this hair was pick it uh finger comb it and that's pretty much it I would occasionally spray it with water if I felt like I wanted to. Um, for the most part, I didn't really need to. Because I do um, take my wigs off when I get home. I don't wear them constantly all throughout the day. I put them on before I leave. Like after I do my makeup, I put them. I put the wig on. I go out, do my thing, go to work, uh, wherever it is I'm going. When I come back home, I take it off and put it over what the rest of my wigs are and let it just, just let it do its thing. That is how... And it's like one of the most, it's like the biggest tip I could give anyone to maintain any hair or any wig. So, yeah, but uh, I do still think that this could be a wig. Like if you're into um, sewing wigs onto your head, I do think that these wigs would be really good for that. Um, just because it's kind of like natural hair a little bit. It kind of acts like your real hair. So, and then they have some tips and tricks also. It says finger comb the curls from the tips to the roots. Avoid brushing or combing your curly wig. Uh, I do comb mine, but only with a wide tooth comb. I do not comb it with any like... Uh, narrow tooth skinny tooth <laughs> i don't really know what to call it anything that's like super skinny i do not do that let's you know it's gonna mess up the curls it's gonna become way too frizzy and it won't last as long because the curls won't um be as defined which as you can see in this wig there are still some curls left the main thing um that i will say didn't last as long as like the actual hair on this wig is the combs yeah, I mean, you know, and that's to be expected. Oh, does this one have a fourth comb? I didn't even notice. Oh, it does. Wow. Didn't even notice. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and say that real quick. This wig has four combs. Now this three has four. It has one right here, here, and in the front, and in the back with adjustable strap. Uh, but yeah, the combs on the previous wig, those are starting to tear off a little bit. Like, if you can see that. But I mean, I wear this wig so much. Like, I literally wear it so much like in between times that I don't like get wigs sent in or like hair sent in or I just like I don't feel like doing my makeup that day this is like these are like really good wigs for that because it's like it's natural you know it's you don't really need to do too much with it but at the same time you could be very extra and glamorous with it as you can see with my makeup today I've decided to you know uh do some color even though well, I decided to do some colors. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. I decided to do some color and I feel like it paid off really well. And it complements this hair a lot. I do think you could do really glamorous looks with this wig. But you could also do very natural looks with this wig. You know, it's just, it's just, it's a very good wig to have. You know, either one of them. I do want to eventually try the 4B if that's the one that I hadn't tried. The lace is, uh, it's kind of hard. It's not like super hard to where it's like super scratchy or anything. But it's definitely not soft lace. I will say that it says nothing about the lace being soft. So yeah, the wig, I mean the lace is it's fairly, it's all right. You know, it's it's good enough to form across your head uh, to fit it well, and it won't be like too flimsy, but it's not scratching you. So I mean, you know, that's pretty good. So yeah, this the construction of the wig is done up very well. Like it, these wigs are made very very well. No shedding. I'm not getting any shedding with this wig yeah i didn't get any shedding with the previous wig either you know it would be you know the occasional strand or two just because you know i have i do wear the wig super super often but it's nothing like there's hair falling on the ground hair on my shirt like it's you know it's none of that tangling curly hair i'm gonna leave it at that um uh, not tangle free didn't see i've said this earlier in the video too i really love the density of this wig it's thick and it looks natural it looks like natural hair natural hair is thick or you know most have natural hair is thick for the most part especially a 4c texture which is you know tighter curls and kind of um coily <laughs> that's what it is coily it's kinky it's you know for the most part thick also it's really good uh if you don't really braid your own hair up under your wigs and sometimes you just 
you just can't do it so you just gotta slick your hair back in a little small little bun or ponytail put your cap on and then this is a good week to put on because it won't show <laughs> that you got a big lump in the back of your head because you know you don't know how to corn roll because i don't i know i don't i'm going to do a top something uh wigs video i don't know if it's gonna be like top 10 or you know whatever but it's gonna be a top something and these are definitely going in it but i'm gonna put them in the same place <laughs> like whatever number i decide to put it on it's gonna be in, within the same place because i mean they're they're very similar wigs it's literally the same wig but one of them has tighter curls and is a little bit smaller uh which is you know another thing it's kind of like this is like shrinkage a little bit which 4c girls y'all know shrinkage is to the shrinkage is real you know what i'm saying it's it's you know it's a problem and it kind of you know reminds you of that that video may take a while to get up because i want to make sure that it's the order of it is you know appropriately appropriately accurately <laughs> i want to make sure it's done accurately make sure y'all check out sam's beauty y'all know sam's beauty always comes through for you girl you know what i'm saying all their links will be down below my links will be down below the wig link will be down below and that is all if y'all have any video requests just comment and i will get to y'all as soon as possible uh, and i'll see you guys in the next one bye